Oh, yo. I'm not this color anymore. and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Shalia if you're new here and welcome to today's video so obviously if you guys can tell by the title I am currently on vacation I'm in Phuket Thailand and I'm headed out for dinner so I figured what better opportunity than to get ready with you guys full hair full makeup full outfit shoes fragrance the works why not um, I'm actually really excited um, I've this restaurant has been on my list since I decided to come to Phuket we're going to a restaurant called the three monkeys and it's like a bam bamboo like treehouse style restaurants so if you guys can tell by my fit I'm leaning more towards like neutral colors so if you guys want to see exactly how I put my face together my hair together and my fit together make sure you guys keep watching but of course don't forget to scroll down and find the subscribe button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and of course at the end of the video if you did actually enjoy it give it a thumbs up don't be giving it no thumbs down though we don't got time for that okay if you don't like it just go Okay, and of course leave a comment in the comment box down below if you guys got something you want to say to me I'm always always here and always trying to be available for you guys to respond So any questions comments concerns issues opinions you got that's what you want to leave them. All right, let's go ahead and let's just jump in the video. Um, I'm about to look real Messy in about three two like you know one <laughs> All right guys, so let's just go ahead and let's get this started. Um, your girl is using mostly natural lighting for this video. I do have a light in front of me, but then the big window in front of me is also open. So if things change in the midst of the video, I did not do it on purpose and I truly apologize. So, all right, let's get let's get it going. Um, obviously, I don't know if you guys can tell my background. I'm on vacation. Well, obviously, you can also tell from the title, your girl's obviously on vacation. Um, so my routine is mostly the same, but slightly different, which is why I figured, let me do it with you guys. And it's not really the routine that's different. It's more so the products that I'm using that are different. So basically, I already went ahead and prepped and primed my, well, I didn't prime it, but I prepped my skin. I washed my face, super clean. And then I went in with my, don't tell me, don't tell me. Ula, Hen Ula Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. Guys, I've been using this product for like five years and I still can't say it right. It always messes me up. So okay, so now that that's all done, I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Even Better Clinical Brightening Moisturizer. Really nice consistency that I've been enjoying for this trip. This trip was the first time I've ever used it. And I was a little concerned that it was gonna be too thick, like the formula, but it's actually not, which is nice. Guys, I have sunburn on my nose. It's not picking up too, too much on camera, but y'all, in person, it is, it's not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. I've also been cooking my forehead, like literally char grill forehead at this point is what I'm gonna start calling it, because that's how it feels. And it's so real, I had to, put sunblock in my scalp because my my head was on fire i literally said to my friend i was like i feel like a like a pig roasting on a spit like that's how hot it's been here um but like still no complaints because i love the heat and i love like tropical weather but it's always just like you gotta like walk that fine line and be super super careful Oh, so good. So now really quick, I'm gonna give myself a spritz of the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. I just wanna cool down my skin just a little bit, which is nice. So this way my skin's like super moisturized and then hopefully it's not like overproducing oil just because it's hot, you know what I mean? Okay, so now that that's all settled in and my skin like looks and feels pretty dry, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow product. Um, I've switched up and I've been using the Refi um, Clear Brow Sculpt. Now, let me tell you something about this. I learned the hard way. This shit is not waterproof. <laughs> I was at the pool at a beach club and there was white just all over my face. Not a vibe, okay? Like, okay? For real, for real. It was so crazy. Like, my friend was like, what is on your face? And I was like, oh my gosh. 
It's my brow product. So what I've been doing, because I very rarely always only bring one thing. Crap, I don't see it right now, but what, I was, what I've been doing is on days that I know I'm gonna be swimming, but still like want my brows to like look like something. I've been using the um, pink honey, honey glue for my eyes and then like going out night, I've been using the Refi cause like don't nobody got time to have white ass eyebrows. And then I like to just take my little spatula and like really like get that laminated look. Cause I think today I want like more bushy brows. Well, <laughs> what I can attempt for bushy brows. If you guys haven't seen the vlog that went up before this video, you should totally check it out. Um, the villa that we're staying in is absolutely beautiful. Um, we're in Phuket right now and the villa is just stunning. Like it's so beautiful. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom, full kitchen, full dining room, full living room, private pool, private patio, full garage. Like it's a stunning, stunning villa. I'm so happy with it. Um, because y'all, I've booked Airbnbs. I've never booked an Airbnb and been like completely unhappy, but I've definitely booked some Airbnbs and been like, your pictures were deceiving. This place's pictures were not deceiving. They were very, very, very accurate. I'm so happy about that. Um, so now I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And I don't want to use too, too much of this. So I don't want my makeup to slip. Which it normally doesn't, but because my face, my skin is a little burned. You know, you have that like extra layer where your skin is like a little more like slippery. Just going in lightly with that. And then y'all, this thing is on its last leg. I'm, I'm, I know for a fact, like after tomorrow, I'm not gonna be able to take this home. But this is my Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. That's what I'm going in with next. It is 40%, 40%. I can never talk, y'all know that. It's 40, it's SPF 40. Definitely wanna get it on my fucking burnt ass forehead. Like y'all, when I tell you my forehead burns, you don't understand it. Like, uh, I just had to give me her hat today. It was crazy. The sun is like pew, 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 pew. Like, literally, so perfect. Skin prep is done, and we moving on to the next. So I am going out to dinner tonight, so I am going a little bit more on the full glam side. Versus for the majority of the trip, I've been keeping things pretty light, so. And honestly, y'all, I don't even know if all like my colors are even gonna work anymore because I'm way more tan. But then I've been saying for weeks, I need a tan, I need a tan, I need a tan, I need a tan. And I here I am tan and I'm like, oh God. And not like, because I don't wanna be tan, but because I think all my like darker makeup products are at home. But we gonna make it work. She's like, I could definitely be using a darker bronzer right now. I mean, you know what I mean, contour. But it's working, it's doing something. It's showing up. It's doing what needs to be done. It understood its job description for the day. Okay, so not too much has changed in the concealer department. Although now I don't see it. That's scary. Ah, it's right there. Okay, uh, I'm still going in with my, oh guys, sorry. That was my, my um, contour was the liquid gel contour from KVD Beauty in the shade medium cool, 60. And then this is the multi-use sculpting concealer from Born This Way. This is like my baby, it's my ride or die. I'm never gonna stop using this. I almost bought a Rare Beauty one and then I was like, go don't play yourself. Do what you like, do what you know. This color might not be the vibe anymore. Lord. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little and put it on a flat brush. This, um, like about that much. Oh, can you see that? There you go. Just to sort of like carve out my brow a little. <laughs> I 
This is pretty quick for me to do because I got about three eyebrow hairs. Y'all already know the vibes, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. I also like to just let my concealer like sit for a little bit so it can like really like get settled into the skin and then it's harder to blend it out. So then you get like maximum coverage. Maximum coverage. <laughs> like why did I do that like that? I'm so weird. Anywho, so y'all, let me tell you guys about this trip so far. First of all, it's, it's very beautiful here. I don't want to like diminish how nice it is here. But low key, there's, I don't wanna say nothing to do because there is, but I don't know if I'm just like going to the wrong places or what, but like guys, the vibes are just, it's like make bring your own vibe, <laughs> which I'm more than happy to do. You know what I mean? Um, but you can tell like a lot of people come here to just like relax on the beach, which is great. Like, you know what I mean? Like no, fault to them but like for my birthday dinner we went out and the place was so quiet like I was like and you know it was like I found it on TikTok and like everybody said that the view the vibes were so nice and like the place was so beautiful and just like all this stuff and I think my expectation it was like one of those expectations versus realities type situations and I had a great time at a great birthday like like so like I said like I don't want this to sound like I'm just like ungrateful or like complaining but like sometimes when you have an expectation in your mind you really have to like adjust them in order to make the most of what you're doing like you know I don't know if that really makes like any sense but anyway so there's that the place we went to yesterday was called Cafe Del Mar. It was really fun, um, like super chill, vibey beach club, like energy. Music was cool. It was like a nice eclectic mix. And we had a day bed right off the pool. So it was really easy to access. Service was great. Like everybody was so sweet. And I learned how to say thank you in Thai. Kom kun ka. But anyway, then, um, this is obvious, this is not necessarily like related to the trip, but this right here behind me is actually inside of our house. So behind me here is the garage and then right there, I don't know how well you guys can see it, is the front door. And Khadija's room is over there, Jamora's room is over there, Isis's room is over there. The kitchen and living room is like straight ahead of me, pools right in front of me and then this is my bathroom. So all these trees right here open up to open, like open sky. Yes, because it's an open concept property. Really quick guys, I'm going in with the Makeup by Mario foundation in the shade uh, 20N. Um, but yeah, so last night I'm in here, minding my motherfucking business, watching season two of Sex Life, and all of a sudden I just hear all this noise. And by the looks of it, ooh, y'all. I'm not this color anymore. <laughs> All right, maybe we gonna have to figure it out. We gonna have to bronzer it up and figure it out cause goddamn, goddamn. Okay, anyway, so I'm like hearing all this noise that's coming from the ceiling. And then I, open, I turn my bathroom light on and this, oh no, you can't see it, fuck. Oh no, 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 you can kind of see it right over here. Like right there. <laughs> that tree was swaying side to side like it was in the Jurassic. Y'all, I went, turned the light on, couldn't see a dizzy damn thing. I literally was like, what do I do? What the fuck do I do? Straight panic, y'all. Straight panic. So I call Isis, because Isis's room is the closest to mine, and Jamora's is slightly further down but not much further but I called Isis A because I knew she was just awake because she just left my room and B because she was the closest one to me and I wasn't sure if she'd be able to hear it she don't hear it she like girl I don't know what the fuck you talking about and both of us are like lock the door don't come out because it's pitch black you guys like our villa's in the middle of nowhere so outside is just jungle there's a villa next there's a villa on either side of us but outside of that it's just like couple houses down the street and things like that, but y'all, it's just trees. It's just trees. 
So I'm like, is it an animal or a person? But I tell you this, I was not finna find out. Not I, not I. No, no. But yeah, y'all, I was in here terrified. Like I was like, oh my God, please don't horror movie me right now. Like, please don't do me like that. I'm just trying to enjoy my birthday vacation, okay? So y'all, we were in our rooms, like, or at least I was, blinds drawn, lights off, silence, trying to hear any single sound that came from outside, because I just was like, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Y'all just had me confused with somebody. Mm-mm, mm-mm, not me, not me. We're not gonna do this. So I don't know if it was an animal, I, like, you know, nothing, you know, I never heard anything else, really. The trees did rustle again, but like, I don't know if something was running across the ceiling, the roof, and it hit a tree or what, but I just was in here like, because then I was like, maybe it's just the wind, but then I looked out my other window to see if the other trees were moving, and they were not, hence the panic, okay? I was like, oh, hell no. So, that was that. So, anywho, tonight, we're going to this restaurant called Three Monkeys, and, okay, no, nope, you know what? I do have a slight complaint. Remember, I was like, oh, I'm not trying to complain. No, I do have a complaint. It's very strange. It's very, I don't want to call it strange. That's actually disrespectful. It's interesting that there are some places here that are obviously catering to tourists. Like not everywhere, because obviously like a lot of places in the world do not rely on tourism. And I think a lot of people will forget that. So you need to also curb your expectations because A, not everybody's gonna speak English. Like they don't need you, respectfully. So, a, not everyone's gonna speak English, and B, not everything is gonna be readily accessible to tourists just because. However, one thing I will say I'm finding a little bit strange is it's so hard some days to get a reservation. And a lot of places that I've been in the past use either WhatsApp or their website, which is, I feel like, a typical standard across the world like you know obviously I've not been everywhere but um I've been to a fair share of places and I just feel like usually the standard is book on the website you know if you obviously cannot call to make a reservation because we can't call international numbers so we try to make a reservation at this place and it was they use an app called Line, which for some reason just was not working for us. And so we asked our housekeeper if she could make the reservation for us. And then she got back to that. They got back to her and they were like, yeah, that's fine. Like we can make the reservation, but we need to book a, we need to take a 1,000 Thai bot for the deposit for the for the table that we want and we were like cool like you know no problem how can we get it to you she's like leave it at the house and I'll drive it and we're like what like is there no way to do like an online credit card authorization like nothing like that it was very like and then basically like they said no so I was like well how does one do that if they don't have the access to someone who can do that for them. Like we are obviously in a situation where we had someone who was willing to do it for us, but what does everybody else do? Like if you're staying in a hotel or let's say you're trying to do it before you get here, the hotel is not gonna draw, like you get what I'm saying? Like it was a very, like, it was a little confusing. So we're still gonna go to the place, but we don't, we were not able to leave the deposit because we didn't want her to drive all the way down there. Like that, like that's too much. Like I would never ask somebody to do that just so we can have a specific table. But at the same time, it's kind of just frustrating because it's like, you know? So we are still gonna go, like I said, um, whether or not we have the spot we want, I we won't know until we get there, which is a little, bit frustrating but it is what it is it's not the end of the world it's just sort of just confusing because it's not the first place that we've been to that we've tried to make a appointment at 
that we couldn't really get. Like even this really the place we went yesterday called Cafe Del Mar. Like it's really popular, and they like tell you to email them on the website to make a booking for a bed, which is what I did. They never got back to me. My friend Cheyenne was actually in Thailand one week before me, so she went to that to she happened to go to the place and ask them if she could make the booking for me and they were like oh no scan the code and you make the booking through their whatsapp but it's like but that's not what's on your website like it's all very interesting because i feel like those places like these are catering to tourists but if the tourists don't have access to a booking what do they do you know what i mean anywho this is the Rare Beauty blush in shade Grace. I actually meant to put this on before my powder, but I didn't, don't, know, don't tell nobody. It should be okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's not gonna be like as bright as I want it to be, but it's okay. I'm gonna go over it with powder blush anyway. So. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty blush, <laughs> Fenty Beauty bronzer, the Sun Soccer bronzer in Coconati. Oh, my phone's lighting up, give me a sec. Give it some good swizzity swirls. And I try to mostly start with patting. I'll do the occasional sweep, but it's way not to disrupt my makeup underneath. And then once that's all set, I'll build and build and build. All right guys, now that we've got all of that basically sorted out, I feel like we're looking pretty good in the like color department. I am gonna add a little bit more bronzer though to like balance this out. But for now, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I never know what this powder is called respectfully. And these little powder puffs, by the way, I got from Amazon. I feel like everybody knows about these by now. Way better to use than your beauty blender or whatever beauty sponge you use for setting your powders. Just makes them so much more even. Isis is so cute. She's outside of my window in a towel and a shower cap. <laughs> I can't. Hi. Oh, a little flash. Oh my God, you're so tan. Wow. She looks like Neapolitan ice cream. She's like five different colors. Too funny. Anywho. But yeah. I can't believe that my trip is ending in two, two days. Oh my gosh. We leave Phuket on Wednesday. I look insane. We leave Phuket on Wednesday to fly back to Bangkok. And then we stay in Bangkok until Thursday morning. And then we fly back to New York. So yeah, like literally basically two days. We do have two travel days. Like basically we fly Wednesday and Thursday, but I'm not really counting like Wednesday as a, like not part of the vacation just because we will still be in Bangkok and like moving around and like doing things. We're probably gonna go to the little zoo cafe. Play with some baby animals. I feel like I've not played, I've never played with this many animals on a vacation before. Like getting to feed, I mean, monkeys was like the highlight of my trip. And especially cause they were wild monkeys, like completely, completely wild monkeys. Like there was no, we were not at a sanctuary. We were like literally all we went to a beach in the middle of the ocean. Well, we went to an island in the middle of the ocean that is uninhabited by people, but fully inhabited by monkeys. And they were so freaking sweet. They were so sweet. They were like, so gentle. Like you would f like put food towards them and they'd be like, oh, 
Okay, I'll take it. So sweet, no snatching. Honey, the monkeys in Bali would never. We were cracking up because I was like, the monkeys in Bali would have snatched your wig, snatched you out of the lost three braids, and just gone. Jamora was like, and just gone. I was like, lash is gone. And these monkeys here were so freaking gentle and sweet, and they were so kind and like, I mean, obviously, I don't know if they're always like that, but they were. They were um, the day before yesterday, and um, it could have also been because it was so early in the morning, and they hadn't seen too many people yet. So they were like, "All right, cool. Like, we'll fuck with y'all." They were like, some of them were carrying their babies. Oh god, it was so freaking cute. It was so precious, and it just made me so happy. And then the other day, we went we went to an elephant sanctuary, and we. Um, bathed them and we fed them. Some of them were a little bit standoffish because obviously they have been in situations where they've been abused, but like for the most part, they were so sweet and they're hungry. They eat apparently for 16 hours a day and they are massive. I mean, obviously like everybody knows like elephants are big, but like when you're standing there in front of one with your hand on its belly, like on its side, you're kind of like, damn daddy. Skin thick as hell, but they were very sweet. And we got to bathe them and massage them. It was really cool. And most of them had been in places where they were being ridden or where they were doing logging, which is where the elephants, like, like, how do I explain it? Um, like basically like they're used for moving wood. So they take them out into the middle of the jungle. They chop all the woods down and then they tie really heavy rope to them on their legs or on their around their neck and they're dragging the logs out for building purposes for humans which don't even get me started because i can't stand people i can't stand the way humans treat humans i can't stand the way humans treat animals i just like are y'all good are you okay are you okay you get one life and you chose to be mean with it like for what for money be for real, like, all right, now I'm giving me a bulletin. <laughs> Better like, that's the way it's supposed to be, so I don't mind. So with the blush, I'm actually gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Cocktail Party. And I'm mostly gonna use these two, as you guys can see, I hit a little bit of pan on this one. It's one of my favorite blushes. And I'm just gonna mix the, the last two, the two darker shades. And I'm actually gonna brush my powder away with the blush. So there's no harsh lines of demarcation, you know? Honey, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we're getting somewhere, it's giving, it's giving. I told you a little while ago I was giving suckling pig. All right, so now it's just time to fill in my brows. I'm just using the Refi uh, brow pencil and, oops. Try to get close in if I don't have a mirror. Like I'm not home, so obviously you don't have the normal mirror that I would use. So I'm just gonna use my little compact. And it's actually perfect because, I don't know if you guys can see, but like the line right there gives me a perfect idea of like where I wanna start to fill it in. And I try to keep a pretty light hand. See, so like originally my brow would have probably come more like down here and that's what I didn't really want, so. Hi. What's going on? Lotion. Yeah, it's my way moisturizers over here. Cute. What are you wearing tonight? That tan dress. Oh, right. Isis is in my room, guys. But she's not showing her face because she has a... That's fine, she's naked. A stuff cap on her head, too. I'm also laughing because you're in the glass. <laughs> it's okay, no, we can't, we, they can't see I you, silly. Okay, so we bougie. Honey, I was born bougie. What you want from me? You don't use Jergens anymore? I stopped using Jergens years ago. What are you, Vaseline? Actually, I don't even think I've ever used Jergens. Where's the cocoa butter? I do still use cocoa butter. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. I went this whole trip with no lotion. Well, I also have the Aquaphor, but I know you don't want that. No, that's weezy. Well, done? those of us with sensitive eczema-ridden skin can't relate. <laughs> I've been using my um, 17. Yeah, I know. And my love spray is lotion. 
I can't. I'll be out here. Her. She's insane. <laughs> Alright guys, so Ice is just headed out and we're gonna finish things up with you. I'm gonna finish things up with you guys. Um, I did pop a little bit of mascara on really quick, but obviously nothing major because I'm gonna reapply another layer. But for reference, it is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. I recently just started using that because it has a much smaller applicator wand, which I really like, you know, for my three eyelashes. <laughs> They've been dragging me all trip because they're always like, because I always say I got three, three eyelash hairs, three eyebrow hairs, and three hairs on my hair because my hair is so fine. And they've been running with that joke. It's so funny. Anywho, so I'm using Ardell lashes today. I've been using these mostly for the entire vacation. These and, um, no. These and these, my more like natural lashes, which I wear for like the airport and like things like that. But today, cause we're going out, I decided to use these. They're a little bit more wispy. While my lash glue is sort of drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lip liner. This is the shade Universal Earth from Makeup Forever. This is one of my favorite lip pencils. And then I'm gonna pair it with Kylie from Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm actually gonna start with Kylie and just sort of fill in my lips. It's a very light, neutral color. There we go. And then I'm gonna use Universal Earth to just trace the perimeter. All right, there we go. Lash glue still marinating. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with Kylie Cosmetics, the shade Kylie in the matte liquid lip. Pop it right here. I love this combo, it's like one of my favorites actually. All right, lash is very much giving it's ready to go, or at least I freaking hope so. All right, y'all, one down, one to go. Honey. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna just let my lash like do its thing and then I'm gonna style my hair really quick. I am gonna stick with the half up vibe just because I don't really like want it like in my face. Like, I don't know, like the full lashes with the hair down is just I'm not really like feeling it I've really been liking my hair down for more like beachy like messy hair days but like I think I just like it more it's also like a little bit more sexy more sultry more fun when it's up so I try to only go like three or four rows and I'm also like fairly new to I'm not gonna say I'm new to braids because that sounds insane I've been wearing braids my whole early childhood, but I'm new as an adult to braids because I've never worn them as an adult. Um, I stopped getting braids when I was probably in eighth grade. Um, so it's definitely been a slight adjustment like on the trip. Plus I have very thin hair, like my hair is pretty fine. So I try not to do too much with them because the weight is actually quite painful. Okay, that's, I'm thinking like, or do I want to leave like these two down too? I don't know. What do you think? Is that too much down? No. I'm gonna put that one back up. <laughs> I have these big giant jumbo mumbo elastics. Honey, it is a project, okay? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Also, like, I know that my foundation is getting really bright, but it's not. It's the light, I promise. Like, looking at it here, I it's not this aggressive, but I think... Oh, no. Cool. 
All right, so that's how we're looking so far. I am gonna fix my baby hairs because they are <laughs> out of control, okay? So I'm just like lathering my hair up in this crap. <laughs> like for my baby hairs to really be like perfect but I do like them to look a little bit tamed so Like if I have some pieces like that don't lay down like that little baby right there, I don't make a big deal out of it. Um. Like that guy, like I'm not gonna stand here and fight with them just because they're a little longer and I'm, they're not long obviously, but like they don't really have a place to go, and so I just let them, I let them live. I let them be free. <laughs> it's like, they're definitely not perfect. They're definitely not like perfect by anybody's standards, but like, it works for me. And it, I feel like it also like, fits the look, so. I'm not mad about it. And then I just take little bit of gel. This is Ego Styler gel, by the way, guys. And I just run them over my braids because they've gotten frizzy, like, from all the swimming and stuff. So, you see, like... I don't, like, need perfect baby hairs. It's not, like, my vibe anyway. Okay, so let's jump back in and let's pop some more mascara on. I'm gonna put some on these baby bottom lashes as well. Even though I only have three, like I keep telling you guys. Oh. oh no, my earring's coming out. What are you doing? Where are you going? That shit was trying to jump ship. Actually, the back is MIA. I have no idea where it is. Okay, anywho. So. All right, there we go. So give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna get dressed. Obviously, I can't do that on camera. And I will come back and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing and my jewelry and accessories and all of that. And my fragrance and all that good jazz. And we'll close out the video. Okay, so I hope you guys can like see this fully. You know, is this a moment? Yes or no? <laughs> a little pose. No? Ah! Okay, anywho, so my dress is actually from PLT, and I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see my shoes. Also, PLT. My cat got to them, which is very frustrating, but what are you gonna do? We move on, right? We move, we move. Okay. And I am wearing, uh, I like to zoom in here, my brassy bra tape. I showed this to you guys a couple of vlogs ago at home, like just how how much coverage they provide, how much support they provide, which is really awesome, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, this is the vibe. So I do just need to pop on some fragrance, and let me show you my bag. So I am wearing this bag. I'm going full neutral today, y'all, okay? My bag is from Monday Swimwear. I'm literally obsessed with it. I've been using it for the entire vacation. It is an actual vibe and it goes so cute with so many things. And because it's so big, it's like a carry-all. It literally holds everything. I'm actually obsessed. I'm so glad I bought this. Um, but yeah. All right, let's get some fragrance on and let's get the F out of here. Okay, so today I'm actually wearing two scents. I'm mixing Prada's Candy with Replica's Beach Walk and I always try to bring travel sizes with me on vacation if I can, just so that I'm not like, my suitcase gets so heavy sometimes between like filming equipment, different outfits, different shoes, makeup, hair products. Like it gets to be a lot. I'm trying to smell tropical as hell today. 
So I'm doing like the beach walk on the wrist and in the hair. And then the candy is um, on my arms, my neck, behind my ears, behind my knees, <laughs> ankles. Can't be forgetting nowhere, okay? All right, y'all. So that pretty much concludes this video. We are actually headed out. I'm like perfectly on time. Perfectly on time. That's like a new thing for me. Like I be on time these days. Who am I? New year, new me. Not really though. <laughs> kind of. Yes and no. <laughs> okay, this went left. Anywho, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, sorry if the lighting got wonky again. I warned you at the beginning. Don't say I didn't tell you, okay? Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see where we went to dinner and how dinner went and the vibes and all of that, make sure you check out the vlog. The Thailand vlog is either broken up into two or three vlogs. If it's broken up into three vlogs, it's going to be in part three. If it's broken up into two, it'll be in part two. Um, but yeah, so you guys can check it out. The restaurant's called Three Monkeys. It's very cute. It's a treehouse like style restaurant that's really pretty and really neutral, which is why a lot of us chose neutral colors to wear for dinner tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys, of course, for checking it out. And if you guys made it to the end, I love you all so, so, so much. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you guys did actually enjoy it. And of course, leave a comment if you just want to talk to me in the comment box down below. All right? I love you guys. Check in soon. Bye.